that governments are instituted among men to secure these rights, and that governments derive their just powers from the consent of the government. The old a republic, in which civil and religious liberty stimulate all to earnest endeavor, and in which the law restrains every hand of citizen or a neighbor's injury. A republic in which every citizen is a sovereign, but in which no one cares to wear a crown. The old a republic, standing erect while empires all around are bowed beneath the weight of their own armor. A republic whose flag is love, while other flags are only fear. The whole republic is rich in population, in wealth, in strength, and in influence, solving the problems of civilization, and facing the coming of a universal brotherhood. A republic which shapes thrones and dissolves aristocracy by its silent example and gives light and inspiration to those who sit in darkness. Behold a republic, gradually but surely becoming the supreme moral factor in the world's progress and the accepted arbiter of the world's dispute. A republic whose history, like the path of the justice, is as the shining light that shines more and more